Well, if you're a renter, do you know your rights? More than 60% of Flower City residents rent. But some tenants told News 10 NBC's Deanna Dewberry they believe their rights are ignored by the very agency they look to for help. A Rochester renter recently told me, Deanna, just because I'm poor doesn't mean I have no rights. She's correct. But time and time again, tenants in the Housing Choice Voucher Program, formerly known as Section 8, have said they believe the Rochester Housing Authority fails to enforce state laws designed to protect tenants. So I decided to investigate. Everything you see here is all the proof that we gave to the court. Um, to the judge. The proof Gloria Gomez is referring to now covers the kitchen table, letters, receipts, documents, and that's all the proof a small claims court judge needed. I said, we won. We won the case. Gloria helped her sister, Maritza Rosario, sue her landlord, and a judge awarded Maritza $4,500 plus interest, totaling $6,159.98. According to the judge, her landlord did not give her prior notice of a monthly rental increase, as mandated by state law. Because I live with a society. Mm -hmm. I want to get full stamps. That's it. Maritza is disabled and qualifies for housing assistance, also known as Section 8. Section 8 must approve any rent increases. And according to the Rochester Housing Authority's executive director, landlords must notify the tenant and Rochester Housing Authority 90 days before a rent increase. Once the um, rent increased, the um, caseworker yelled at her and said, pay it, pay it, pay it. You have to pay it. She's talking about the Section 8 housing specialist assigned to her case. She says the Rochester Housing Authority, or RHA, repeatedly sided with her landlord, even when her landlord violated the law by failing to provide proper notice of rent increases. I reached out to the Rochester Housing Authority and the agency emailed this reply. Due to privacy laws, we cannot comment on the specific individual in question. But it went on to say, if there is a lease violation and the landlord does not follow the HAP, Housing Assistance Program Agreement, RHA advises tenants to consult legal counsel. All of the people that are aware of this, no one cared. Yalitza Galan complains that her Section 8 housing specialist has repeatedly failed to alert her to her rights as a renter. When I met Yalitza, her landlord would not renew her lease, but Yalitza couldn't find another home in her price range. Seeing my kids ask me, will we have a home? It's, that's the worst thing that could happen to a parent. She says she told her Rochester Housing Authority specialist that her family would be homeless if forced to vacate. Her RHA housing specialist replied, you need to be out of the property by April 30th, 2024. And your next statement was, if I don't have a place to go, then I'll be homeless. While I hope that isn't the case, if you don't have some place to stay, then yes, you will be homeless. But I reached out to RHA leadership and learned that specialist was wrong. The executive director wrote, RHA applicants and participants are entitled to an initial search term of 90 days with additional extensions as necessary, something her RHA specialist never told her. So you feel like they treat you as though you have no rights? No, I do not feel. I know I have no rights. While the Rochester Housing Authority does not provide legal advice, it does provide information on its website informing its tenants of their rights. But here's the problem. When I combed the RHA website, I found much of the information was wrong. On late charges, it said, there is not a law limiting the amount of late fees a landlord can charge. But in 2019, the law changed. In a pamphlet provided by the New York Attorney General's office, it says, the most your landlord can charge as a late fee is $50 or 5% of your monthly rent, whichever is less. And here's what the document on RHA's website said about security deposits. There is no specific time frame for return of a security deposit under New York state law. That's wrong. A law passed five years ago mandates that, quote, the landlord must return your security deposit within 14 days of you moving out. But these tenants believe these protections don't apply to the poor because not even the Rochester Housing Authority helps to enforce them. 
I'm not sitting down waiting for the first of the month for the government to give me nothing. In this interview, I'm not asking no one to give me nothing. I'm asking for justice. The Rochester Housing Authority's executive director emailed a statement saying, as for the updates on the website, it was an inadvertent error caused by the 2020 pandemic, which created a staffing shortage and allocation of resources to cover pressing issues facing the authority, such as COVID. The authority has a limited IT team and we certainly need more help. The authority would not comment on specific renters' cases because of privacy laws. But since I made them aware of the incorrect information for tenants on its website, it updated that information. But as of the writing of this story, Rochester Housing Authority still linked to outdated guides for landlords, some of which were last updated in 2013. If you are a Section 8 tenant, you do have rights. I provided links to current information for tenants in the body of this story in the consumer section of our website, whec.com. When RHA updates its information for Section 8 landlords, I'll link to that as well. And that's your consumer investigation.